This is the story of Lobby 11, the obviously superior lobby in all of Hypixel, particularly in housing, and it all started during Ramu's UK subathon stream where he raised money so he could go to, well, the UK. During that stream, he opened up his house and called it Rambo's Dungeon because, you know, why not? And, you know, since it was only, like, you know, some dude playing block game, not that many people could have joined. Oh my god! Anyways, the all of the lobbies, especially the housing, w was flooded by fans all wanting to see their beloved, including me. The poor housing NPCs were surrounded by eager players while I was desperately spamming the visit command. I was even recording the entire time, because I was convinced I might get in, uh, but sadly, the housing only could handle so many people, so most of us, and in fact, hundreds of us, couldn't make it in, but that's okay, and I'll tell you why in a second. I know this video will get hardly any views, but Lobby 11 really made my night, so it's, you know, the least I can do. After like half an hour of spamming the <laughs> visit command and doing really badly at parkour, I, uh, I got stuck in a block and was forced to go back to a lobby, the aforementioned Lobby 11. Uh, there I gradually noticed how like weirdly kind and inviting the place was, like there were circles, conga lines, aggressive yet very friendly crouching, all that, and like people were chatting respectfully and making friends in Hypixel, in Hypixel. Overall, people were just like straight up vibing. People were making friends left and right, and me, very in character, uh, stayed and spectated from afar because even in Minecraft, I can never escape my social anxiety. Although I eventually loosened up a bit. A lot of people were disappointed that the that the dungeon was full and that they didn't get to see Rambo, but a lot of them were kind and welcoming to anyone new who joined the lobby. There was a lot of uh, lobby eleven, my beloveds, in the chat because it's just. It was so positive that people couldn't help but make a small community out of this Hypixel lobby. So even though I was late, I still saw so much positivity and how awesome everything was. A lot of people were crouching in circles and going around each other. <laughs> Sometimes they'd circle particular players who had a cool skin and they just... It was just very fun. Um, it even got to a point where we all lined up against walls and took pictures with each other, like, <laughs> and posted it to the newly formed hashtag Lobby11 twit. Like, yeah, we actually made a hashtag. That's how big of a deal this was. <laughs> too bad the Twitter description guy never saw it. Um, and I was in a lot of those pictures too. See? A. Hey, there I am. Look at me. There I go. Yay. Anyway, anyway. During this, there were rumors of a, a, a VC dedicated to our lobby. No one knew where that was. Some people said that it was in Rambo's Discord server, of course, when you checked, no one knew where that was. But along with all of the discussions about the where the VC was, some people thought, hey, what if we made a Discord server of our own? but I'll get to that later. While looking through the hashtag and watching Rambo stream and the impressive conga line that was going on, I was AFK for too long and actually got kicked. It was honestly devastating because I couldn't make it back and through my tears that totally existed, I complained to my 15 followers on Twitter about how I'd been kicked. But then I found it. The Lobby 11 official Discord server run by CookieMonster02 on Twitter. After a little bit of hesitation and nervousness, I, I finally joined the server and was met with even more, like an impossible amount of positivity and banter and just overall loveliness. 
the general chat was filled with like jokes and positive affirmations, like letting people know that although we never got to meet Rambo, at least we all got to meet each other. And of course, best of all, I told them that I had been kicked and couldn't make it back to Lobby 11, let alone housing, because once again, filled with hundreds of people that were lagging the servers. Someone by the name of uh, Pawnee, I believe, offered to warp me back to, to the lobby, which even though it didn't work, was incredibly kind and I very much appreciated it. Eventually I made it back into housing, but only into lobby seven or so. But while I was lobby hopping, I noticed like how different the other lobbies were. Like some were still filled with hate towards fans about the, the server lag and others were starting cults by fans. <laughs> which was causing more server lag. And by a miracle of the gods, I eventually made it back to my people in Lobby 11. By this point, Rambu had left the housing and we were all left alone, but with each other. But eventually it dissipated to a point where it was only like 12 people left. Um, I checked the Discord again and a lot of people had left to go to Tubbo's housing, so I went over there and found even more people just, again, straight up vibing. I don't know what's going on, but this is fun. Some of my favorite parts of Tubbo's housing in particular were the, uh, the pond people, the pit, the conga line led by none other than Is that Big Sip Rapper? While I haven't been that interactive on the internet, uh, again due to social anxiety, uh, you know, peeking through, I had never seen such a kind and wholesome community. Just from talking to each other, we slowly realized that we were located all over the place, all connected by this one simple lobby on a Minecraft server. Uh, some were saying good night, some were saying good morning. For example, it was almost three in the morning for me and like nine for someone else. Yet we were all still together at the same time. And honestly, it made my night. I know I won't forget it. So thank you to every member of Lobby 11, my beloveds. Have a good night.